Hello, I'm Winifred Phillips. Welcome to A Composer's Guide to Game Music video example series, a supplement to my book, A Composer's Guide to Game Music. In this video, I'll be showing you the setup and basic principles of a simple three-layer interactive music composition based around the vertical layering technique. You'll find a detailed description of vertical layering in my book, A Composer's Guide to Game Music. So let's go into the Pro Tools Mix session, and I'll show you how this vertical layering model works. This track was written for a comedic science fiction adventure game titled The Maw. Since the track was written using a three-layer approach for music interactivity, each single layer needed to stand alone, and also work with any of the others, so flexibility was key. The main character in the game is a one-eyed purple alien that's essentially a giant mouth, hence its name, Maw. I wrote the music for this game to call to mind everything associated with mouths, including some humorous mouth noises. As you can see in this Pro Tools session, there are 14 audio tracks showing an eclectic group of instruments. We have a drum set, some hand percussion, a flexitone, and a collection of rhythmic foley, including a person swishing mouthwash, some frogs, and some squealing wood. After that, we get into the more traditional ensemble of acoustic bass, jazz reeds, including the full saxophone choir and clarinet, jazz brass, which here includes a solo trumpet and trombone, and piano. Finally, we have a synthesizer, some science fiction sound effects, a theremin, and a women's chorus. You'll see that the tracks are color-coded in blue, purple, and orange. This indicates the interactive layer to which each audio track belongs. Since this is a fairly simple vertical layering structure, we only have three layers. In the game, the three layers serve specific purposes. The first layer is rhythmic and quirky, and accompanies the player during initial exploration and general navigation around the level. You'll hear that this first rhythmic layer lacks any melodic content, but it can stand alone because of the sound effects that occupy the foreground. This is the music the player hears during simple exploration. Muting the first layer, let's listen to the second. This layer is much more melodic than the first. The saxophones and clarinet do the bulk of the work here, while the bass and piano provide a foundation that allows this layer to stand alone as well. The player is likely to hear this music when any situation escalates the stakes of gameplay or when some special comedic event occurs. Okay, muting this layer. Let's listen to layer three. The women's choir dominates this mix, while the synths, effects, and theremin deliver some texture that supports it. This layer is used for special flying sequences. Now, while each layer can function alone, they're intended to work together. Let's listen to layers two and three. The melodic content of these layers was designed to wrap around each other using the opportunistic composition technique. You can read more about that in my book. When we add layer one, we have the full mix. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the setup and basic principles of a simple three-layer interactive music composition based on the vertical layering technique. You can learn more in my book, A Composer's Guide to Game Music, published by the MIT Press. Thanks for watching.